Hey everyone, welcome to Adventures with Penny. I'm Peter and this is Lenny. We're in southern Utah for a few days exploring some of the national parks and other amazing beautiful things to do in the area. We're with Peter's family and we have started from Vegas, stopped in Grand Canyon for a few hours and we had a whole day in Zion, whole day in Bryce Canyon and then we'll have another full day to do some other cool things. So make sure to watch and find out what we do. Also, it's my birthday, just saying. Yeah, so you should give it a like for Peter's birthday. It's a bit icy right now. Woo, pretty slow. Happy birthday! Happy birthday Woo! We tried to do the Bright Angel Trail just a bit of it, but it was so icy we had to turn back and I fell on my butt. Somebody's got a bonk on their head. A bonk on my head and a bruised butt, but that's okay. It was beautiful. Poor, poor Linny, she fell on the ice. She bumped her butt and her head. So sad. It wasn't supposed to snow this entire time we were here. It snowed last night. You ready? I'm not driving. <laughs> Don't have to drive in the snow. <laughs> Two out of ten. Peter, one man band. Yeah, you better keep your day job. Oh my gosh, deer. We don't have those in Michigan. Deer! First day of our trip and we're in Zion for the day and for our first hike we are taking a three mile hike up to the upper emerald pools we'll be passing by the lower emerald pools as well and maybe we'll go over to the middle emerald pools we'll see apparently the middle emerald pools are a different trail and didn't know that yep you have to go one way for one one for the other so we'll see what we do I don't know. So what are we looking at? This is a uh, lower emerald pool. Yeah. Down there. Down there. Down there. 
this is the water call that feeds it. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Warning, you may get wet on this trail. We just did some oh stairs. God. That's all it takes. <laughs> stairs and a little bit of sweat. We're at the Upper Emerald Pools. Fabulous. So emerald. So upper. Wow. It doesn't look very emerald to me. Yeah, there's some green in there. Yeah. Is that, is that the water? Is that the algae? How about you drink it and find out? No. Now can I eat my jerky? Now you can eat your jerky. Thank you. It's all I live for. Beef jerky working. Working. At the beginning of this hike, Peter's hair was straight, and now you can see his luscious curls. Wow, call me out for getting a little sweaty. <laughs> They're beautiful. Sweaty. So this is actually the water that's running down to the lower emerald pools that we started at. That's pretty cool. And it says danger behind this point. Stay behind the chain because you know you don't want to take a little tumble off the cliff. Ah! Up, 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 up the stairs we go. Did we get to the tunnel. over to lower pools, upper pools, and then you come up, and now we are going to the middle emerald pools. Full circle. Uh, I think we already went to the middle emerald pools. Oh, and now we're doing upper? But no. I don't think so. I think so. Because it... All right, we'll see who's right and who's wrong. Take your bets now in the comments. Take your bets. I'm ready. It's Peter. I will pay $200 if somebody lets me slap them across the face with this. Well, I sure am glad that Zion isn't icy like Grand Canyon or else my butt would be sliding down this whole thing. And two extra bumps on your head. <laughs> so, Lenny, we're at the bottom. Did we get to the middle pool? We did, but we were both wrong. Wrong. We were both wrong. Because wrong. Because I was thinking the one with the mirror, the emerald pool, that I said it was upper. That's, I didn't consider the one where the water was falling down to lower pool, that's considered middle. And I didn't know that. So we were both wrong. False. <laughs> yeah. False. You said you said the middle pool is down this trail. And I said no, we already passed it. Well, so I didn't consider that one. I am right. You were wrong. This time. You heard it. The once. One hike down and two to go, but first I've earned my Cheez-Its and my sandwich. Peter, you look like Schmeagol. My precious. Who looks like Schmeagol now? Another national park, another box of Cheez-Its. This one's family sized. So it'll last us a day. So the canyon is deepening and widening, apparently. Honestly, same. Now we're doing the river sidewalk, and this might be the toughest hike we've done yet. 21 feet of elevation change, guys. Be careful out there. Deep incline here. Be careful, Peter. Go on without me. All jokes aside, the Riverside Walk is really beautiful. You walk all along the river, you know, Riverside Walk. 
but it's so beautiful and it's paved so it's accessible for everyone, family friendly, just all around good. Plague squirrels. So we're at the end of the Riverside Walk, which is actually where the narrows begin. But as you can see, you would need some gaiters or dry or wetsuit, which we don't have. I'm not trying to do that today, but beautiful. Much river, very wow. Nice. Oh boy. How is it? You earned it. Stopped for a quick beer, but now we got our last hike before we leave Zion. For our last hike in Zion, we're doing the Canyon Overlook Trail and already super cool because you're like on the side of the canyon and there's just a railing. Very cool. Hiking maneuver. Professional level. That technique. Okay, that was a short but fun hike. The Canyon Overlook Trail and now the payoff. The Canyon Overlook. Very nice. definitely really cool. Most of the time you have this rail, but sometimes you don't and it's just mm -hmm. right over the edge. <laughs> Whoa. That was not funny. You know, I only saw it once. Funny. And I landed on my camera and the lens isn't working, but everything's fine. Everything is fine. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Secret, secret tunnel. Dinosaurs. That's pretty cool. Look at the little prairie dog. Very nice. I'll take ten. Have you heard about summer snow? When it falls on you, your blood runs cold. But don't you sweat your pretty skin? Cause it melts away for it sinks in. And you dream about this very made it down like 20 feet from the start of the trailhead because uh hello look at those hoodoos who do what who do you think you are <laughs> oh, that was bad joke <laughs> that's all we got well they said it was going to be a little bit icy and it's a little bit icy a little bit muddy but we got our poles and you can bring crampons if you want extra protection, but she said people do it in sneakers and they're all right. So we're gonna find out. Slow and steady wins the race. Can't stop taking pictures. Look at all that snow. 
That is awesome. We're here at the beginning of March and we were worried that the trails were going to be too slippery or icy. So far, they're okay. But we get the beauty of the snow in the landscape. Squelch, squelch, squelch. Wow. I do declare. Well, Cherry, I say we're going the right way. Come on, Edward. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. <laughs> I always get left behind because I can't stop in to take pictures and videos. It just looks so cool. Think you are running around leaving scars, That's tearing love apart. That's three bad hoodie jokes. Oh. There will be more. For the way up. And you dream about this very night when the moon runs down the summer sky. Could it be the morning? So there is a little bit of ice, and I'm gonna try not to fall. I fell our first day of our trip and trip the second day. And if I happen to fall today, it's not my fault, it's the elevation. It's not. She doesn't know how to walk. Switch back time, Peter. The more you love, the more you live. Earning more Cheez-Its. <laughs> Ever feel like going back when nothing seemed to be a drag? They said that there'd be muddy patches. Didn't think it'd be this muddy. Feel the burn in the calves. So today we're in Bryce Canyon, and to start things off, we're doing the Queens Garden and Navajo Loop Trail combination, which is about 2.9 miles altogether and absolutely stunning. You go down into the the canyon itself and get a good look at the hoodoos and hoodoo weddies. Hoodoo highs? Yeah, pretty much. Look at the grumpy face. What makes you say that? <laughs> Uncanny. Okay, we finished our hike and we are at Sunset Point. It started at Sunrise Point and now we're going to walk back over there. So, that was an awesome hike. Definitely recommend get there early though. Yeah, it's getting crowded. feet right now, right? 9,100, yeah. 9,100 feet right now, so. Jump. Do it. Jump. Cross a broken bridge in the fading light. Never thought ahead. So that is the road that we took here. You can just kind of see it on that ridge there. So you can imagine how the views are so amazing. We're going to be stopping along the ferry on the way back. Keep an eye on your children. Don't let them fall. Does that include you, Peter? Nope, it does not include me. Sing. The more you love, the more you live. Again, Lenny was wrong. <laughs> it's not a natural bridge. It's an arch. 
natural bridge is made by a stream or water cutting through the rock. That was from wind or something. I don't know. The more you know. Mallow is on. The more you love, the more you live. Taking the long, hard walk down the nearly paved, but not quite, sidewalk. Hardest hike yet this week. Really, it's gonna get ya. I don't know if we're gonna make it. Pray for us. Send the helicopters. And joke aside, how long is this walk? A uh, mile and a half round trip. Mile and a half, flat, pretty chill. Good way I to start know. the day. We're inclining right now. So it's our last full day in Utah area and we drove down two hours, we're actually in Arizona now, to see Horseshoe Bend. We've been here two times before, one time on our drive out to California and the other time we came it was like right at sunset so it was really dark so this is beautiful seeing it like right in the morning, it's like 8.30 right now. Definitely get here early though, did not have any people. Yeah, this is the least crowded we've ever seen it. There's a railing here for your safety. Or if you want to be ballsy, you can go over there where there's no railing, but you might fall. Please don't fall. I do not condone falling. Look at the wee little people down there. That would be so much fun to go kayaking. Welcome to Horseshoe Bend. Check it out. I don't know what else to say. a little dirty. So we took that super bumpy road down eight miles to get here which is the wire pass trailhead to Buckskin Gulch and we're gonna see a really cool slot canyon. There's amazing reviews online so we're really excited. It's just a 3.4 mile round trip hike so easy for everyone of all skill levels so we thought it'd be perfect to show our family a slot canyon. Are we on the trail yet or are we still on the road? Jeez Louise! Slot Canyon, everyone. The end. The end. Slot Canyon time. Always last because I gotta take pictures. And trip on rocks. <laughs> While taking pictures. The other time we've been to a slot canyon like that was Antelope Canyon. And there you have to pay for a guide to get in. It's like 80 to 100 dollars and there's a ton of people. So that was really cool because while there was other people there you just got to experience it and like it was longer than Antelope Canyon. That was awesome. Yeah, we only saw two or three other groups of people where Antelope Canyon is packed. packed. And they have to they make everyone move aside and one person at a time takes a picture. Here we had it to ourselves a lot of the time. It's really cool, so. Worth the bumpy road. Worth the bumpy road. <laughs> The first part of the hike, you're walking along the wash, and then Slack Canyon, and then we're like, oh, that's it, it was awesome, but boom, another Slack Canyon. Boom! And not five feet further. Slots on slots on slots! And 
an excellent turnaround point for the hike is this arch or bridge. I don't know. Natural amphitheater yes. type thing. Very yes. nice. Well, you can see over there, that is Buckskin Gulch. Yep, so it's the end of this trail and then connecting with Buckskin Gulch, which is like a 20 mile hike. We ain't trying to do 20 miles. You can no. though, you can. Yeah, good for you. Once you're done with Wire Pass, you can walk down Buckskin Gulch a bit. We just decided to walk like five minutes in and now we're heading back and we get some more Slack Canyon. I'm y'all, king of the rock. There's nothing you girls can do about it. She's gonna fall and hurt herself. It's a lot hotter than on the way there. Why does it feel twice as long? I'm dying. After a good hike, you need a good meal. Cheese it's are next. Alright, jump. <laughs> <laughs> Grumpy face. Lenny after she eats all the cheese its Watch out for hobos! <laughs> Cactus Cup! Oh, 
Gotta stay hydrated. Gotta suckle from the teat. <laughs> what the? That's my bed! <laughs>